How's it going guys? Zippy here from Zippy Does It. Well, here we are. We got the pond done. Check it out. It's ready for fish. Let's get some fish in there. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. But anyways, this is just a little water feature I built using a uh, fish tank pump, a water well thing, a barrel, a Home Depot bucket, some dirt, some flowers, put it together, bam. There you go. Zippy does it. Zippy made a little water fountain. Cool. All right. Well, let's go check the pond out. How's it going, everybody? Zippy here from Zippy Does It. Welcome to part six of my pond build. I went to go edit my video and realized I forgot to film an intro. So my intro is showing you my koi, an update on them. So the large koi in there is a butterfly or dragon koi, Broski. He's the one that started all of this. He grew and grew and grew and got bigger and bigger. And uh, we decided, hey, we're going to build a real pond. So and from the viewers' comments, I learned that, well, koi are social and they like having friends. So we got him some friends. Those four little guys down there, they're about eh, six inches at the moment. So anyways, all right, so let's get on to the, the pond build. So I've been super, super busy over the last 10 days or so, uh, multitasking, doing lots of stuff. So some of these clips are kind of short, um, just showing you steps along the way. So uh, please make sure if you haven't, Subscribe, hit the like button, um, ring the bell so you get notifications, and here you go with the progress of the Koi Pond build. Alrighty guys, we got all of our wood, we're going to build a shed. Let's do it quick, zippy fast. Alright guys, here we are, we're making the back wall of the filter shed. So we got the wood all laid out, and uh, we're going to get this all screwed together and put the wall up. Alright, let's get it. All right, guys, there you have it. We got the back wall up, zippy fast. So now we're gonna work on uh, work on the other walls. So I'll see you back in a couple clips. Hey guys, Zippy here. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on the, the filter house. So I've uh, built in this little uh, cavity to insert the seed filter into um kind of walled it off gonna fill that in with dirt um i did solvent weld these pipes together and uh that almost got scary it kind of did um <laughs> the pipe there's a t-pipe below that that goes doo -doo, under of a purge valve and I was supposed to put it in at a 45 degree angle but I put it out straight because I got confused and I couldn't see in there and I was distracted and that solvent well dries like within five seconds so I was like oh my gosh I just screwed up my plumbing what am I gonna do but luckily I had enough room in there to put a 90 and then another 90 going up and then the 90 going to the purge valve so yeah it did add an extra 90 but I mean the purge valve you don't use all that often so wasn't too bad but almost super scary so yeah be sure when you're solvent welding your pipes you're paying attention you have them marked because, yeah, one stupid mistake could create a big headache. So, anyhow, that's the floor. So I'll probably build a little panel right here to cover that. I'm going to fill some of the dirt in. And then uh, that's the sieve chamber. And uh, so there you have it. That's the uh, filter house floor finished off. There you have it. See you in the next clip. 
Hey guys, how's it going? Zippy here. All right, we got the uh, front header installed on the pond. That's going to support the uh, weight of the roof along with the back wall. So let's get uh, building some more walls of the shed and I'll see you back in the next clip. All right, guys, here we have the uh, layout of the uh, side wall. Well, I guess the back wall of the uh, filter house. So I'm going to get this all screwed together and then... Uh, We'll get it put up. All right, see you back. All right, guys, here we have, uh, this is gonna be the internal uh, long wall of the uh, filter shed or the back wall of the pond. So it's all laid out. Gonna get it screwed together and installed. So let's get her done, zippy fast. All righty, guys. Here I am, back at the pond build site. Uh, we're gonna call it quits for the day. They're forecasting 40 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts and uh, the wind's already picking up. So we're uh, on the step of uh, building the roof. So we're gonna quit due to hostile working conditions. Play it safe. We don't wanna get blown off the ladders when you get hit by these gusts of wind. So, right there, we're working on the, the roof, cutting the notches out. So the roof is gonna attach there and go up to there. That's just a temporary uh, support. So, get the roof built. Got the filter house walls built. Step in here. So I just need to finish off this front wall. This will be where my door's at. Go around. So that'll be the door. Come into there and this will be the filter house. So I'll have the, the backy shower up here flowing over into the pond. And uh, yeah, so anyways, that is where I'm at right now. So we'll pick up again tomorrow when there's uh, when all this wind is gone. So see you guys back. All right, guys, here we are back at the uh, update here on the status of the pond. We've gone through quite a bit of lumber, so we've uh, gotten the roof structure built, the frame, got the ridge. And uh, I'm gonna build build some more rafters, get those in, and get get myself a roof. So yeah, getting done pretty good. So let's give you a little tour here. There's the plumbing, the purge. That's where the sea filter goes. That's the piping from the bottom drain. All right, well, there we have it. So we're gonna get the, uh, the rafters up on the roof and uh, I'll get back to you when we get those up. All right, see you back in a zip. All right, welcome back. Uh, so in this clip, just showing that uh, I got the, uh, basically the hurricane bracket hangers in. So these will uh, mount the roof ribs, get them tied in. 
So the, hopefully this roof will be able to withstand our uh, winds. We get some pretty strong winds here in this area of northern Nevada. Um, we've seen up to up to like 90 mile an hour gusts sometimes. So we'll see. Anyways, that's uh, that's how much we got so far. So uh, we went to the lumber hardware store today, picked up some more wood. These are one by four by 16 feet. So those will go across the section of the roof and then we'll be able to attach the uh, roof panels onto the roof. So, all right, we'll uh, see you back tomorrow when we get those up. All right, guys, here we are. We got the uh, cross sections up, one by fours. So now uh, I think the next step is to put the collar on and then uh, I think we're good for now. All right, catch you back in a few. All right, guys, there you have it. We now have the uh, roof ready for the uh, metal sheet uh, metal sheet roofing. So we got the uh, cross sections up. We got the uh, collars in. And uh, framing-wise, the main part of the framing is done. So we'll just have to finish off a few of the, the interior walls of the, uh, the filter shed, and that should be good. So I think that's is going to be it for this video. So thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, ring the bell, yada, yada, yada. And uh, once again, this is Zippy Does It. Have a good one. See you next time. Take care.